Two years ago, I created 1320 Street Shine with the goal of making a single line of car care products that would replace my preferred cleaning supplies from various different companies. Today, we bring you the same amazing Street Shine formula with a whole new look and just in time for car wash season. We're relaunching 1320 Street Shine as well as bringing you a new product, H2O Ceramic, a ceramic rinse aid that is applied effortlessly to your vehicle before you dry it, causing amazing water beads and making the drying process that much simpler, as well as adding an additional layer of protection. If you haven't tried 1320 Street Shine yet, my favorite products include our Quick Detailer, Wheel and Tire Cleaner, and our Bug Remover. Quick Detailer is the perfect final step for any car wash, and it's great for touch-ups at car shows, and it's the best smelling product in our line. Our Bug Remover is the best bug remover you will ever find. I couldn't believe the results the first time we tested it. And our Wheel and Tire Cleaner will eat through any grime that you throw at it. Don't believe me? Head on over to 1320video.com and check out Street Shine for yourself. What is up, 1320 fans, and welcome back to another episode of 1320 Garages. Today, really exciting one, old friend Cletus invited us out, so we're going to look at all of his properties, all of his garages, all of his cars, and we're going to jump right into it. So let's get to it. Hey, guys. Brother. What's going on? How we doing? Hey, brother. I'm Cletus. And welcome to my garage. Thanks for having us out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna start here at your house. Yep. And with the cars and stuff that you have here. First of all, yep. Yep. Uh, how long you been here? I moved into this house four years ago. Four years. And you know we got a nice little three car garage here. I'm trying to see if there's anything weird in here, which is good. I'm not seeing much weird stuff. You never know what you're gonna you know leave <laughs> in the background of a video, but. Uh, all we got in here is a C7, dude, the bald eagle machine. Well, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't run right now. Oh, what's wrong with it? I don't know, dude. I did like a 200 mile an hour rip in it to uh, just really ruin this guy's life. And started running weird on the drive home, shut it off, went to drive the other day, didn't start. So, so you, got, you got to look into this thing, but this is your, have to look into it. but this is the C7 that all your fans have known from yes. basically the beginning of your channel. This is the Pro Charge 1000 horsepower LT. This car is what helped me start my YouTube channel. Right. For sure. This was the basis of my content when I started. So it's my baby right here. Well, you have a couple more things on this property we need to look at. I do. I, yeah, we got, we're going to have we a got, long day. It's a long day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I want to say, I want to get this in early that pretty much everything you'll see today is thanks to Kyle Loftus because <laughs> he, I mean, it's, it's no joke. The man started my career. So the fact that I'm able to show you guys all these cars today is because Kyle Loftus helped me start my career. So shout out to my boy, 1320 video. That's where it all started. First up, Raptor R, dude. Are we this going, is the current daily, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Are we going right into vehicle? Oh, okay. you can do whatever you want. All right, Raptor R right here. Just, uh, you know, good old 700 horsepower, supercharged, chooched up F-150. Is so, it stock right now? It's bone stock right okay. now. Okay. I'll pop the hood for you, though, you know. Supercharged V8, and then there's a lot of eights on these. I don't know if you saw that. That's you know, a, it is a lot of eights. A lot of eights. So, man, it's not the best truck ever, honestly. I've had a lot of trucks. This is my favorite truck by far. 10 speed, supercharged V8, just rips. You can't, can't beat it. Can't, can't beat, beat it. it, dude. Can't beat it. 2023 Raptor R, number one down. All right. Number two, we got the Carbon Cub. This is my 2015 Carbon Cub SS built by Cub Crafters. Is just... this the newest addition to the, to the Cletus? Well, I won Ariel Adam on Saturday. Oh, that's right. I forgot so, all about I that. Mean, yeah, you can't, I can't say it's the newest now. But this did just get released on the channel, you know, pretty recently. So. Right. She's uh, she's packing 180 horsepower. That's under pretty good. So she's, she's pretty good. She's lower in the horsepower department as far as you know some of the vehicles you're gonna see today. Right. But it only weighs 900 pounds. So. Are you serious? Yeah, it's super. I guess light. carbon cub. It means yeah. the whole thing's carbon fiber. I mean, like I can pick up the whole plane. It's just like it's crazy. Damn. So we're gonna take that to the shop. Oh. Here in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll take her on a little rip. I want to make sure you get going some fun things today. Um, you can zoom in, zoom in over there. I bought that square body. 
to uh, fix the Freedom Factory uh, flatbed tow truck. So I'm just gonna use the body off of that, but that's the vehicle on property, we gotta talk about it. Oh, and the KLX 110 in the back of my truck, pit bike, 2019. KLX 110 pit bike. That, that's that's the go-to pit bike I'm for not you? missing anything today. If it's got an engine in it, <laughs> we're talking about it. Real quick, real quick. Since you were a part of 1320's career for oh, 20 yeah. years, give you some 20, 20th anniversary merch right mm. there. Mm. 20 years, dude. It's been a while. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe that was our 10th TX2K we were at. Right. Whoo, clean, dude. 1320video.com, get some merch. There you go, thanks, appreciate that. <laughs> All right, we got a uh, 40 by 80 shop here. Okay. And this was on the property when I bought it. Believe it or not, this stuff was like this. And uh, the guy that I bought the house from apparently had a, a trucking company and he would pull his entire semi with like an excavator on it inside of here. Really? So yeah, that was his thing. So it worked out good because I needed a shop. Literally, I haven't done anything to my house. I just bought it like this, so it's pretty sweet. Now that we're in here, we're only gonna show a few things, but you'll see just, we're gonna CGI, CGI in what appears to be a helicopter tail rotor blade, but I'm not sure exactly what that is. I can't really speak to it. Uh, this is my steel, steel freaking leaf blower dude let me get let me pull you it. were serious anything with an engine you were not gonna miss well it. i kind of want to see what runs and what doesn't run around here hold on it runs we're good good Fork. honda talon this is maddie's honda talon i know for a fact this does not run <laughs> is it broken it's broke how broken what do you guys uh, do to it you know, just might have got some water in the engine. But oh, oh. It's under repair, so the spark plugs aren't in it, but it does run. Gotcha. Once, once it has the proper parts. Scat Hovercraft, 1986. You had this one a few years, yeah? Scat too, yeah, this is my baby right here. I mean, you can tell she's a little dusty. Thing with Hovercrafts, they're always dusty. They're the, they're the dirtiest vehicles you could possibly ever ride, because they blow everything oh, in the Oh, that's fair, that's fair. But we gotta make sure it runs. <laughs> Oh. Hey, yeah. Holy you shit. get the idea. Holy shit. She's chooched up. All right, we need to finish this up because we're about to pass out now. <laughs> From all the two stroke fumes. Motion, race work. Jet oh, boat. this is nice. Yeah, I don't think I've ever even showed this on the channel, really. So really? Like Easter egg right here. This is a uh, Torchcraft Marine jet boat. Super sick. Damn, we should take the jet boats out. Whew. <laughs> but, uh, Everything is so nice on it. It's a super nice 300 horsepower supercharged jet boat. It's got power. <laughs> oh, guaranteed. Oh, damn dang. right. Some nice. water back there? A little bit, a little bit. It didn't get on my couch, did it? Uh, it, no. Then we're good. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's take the old carbon cub and we'll go over to the Freedom Factory. Okay, let's go. Now you're flying. What? I'll get us airborne. <laughs> Then it's on you, brother. This is a uh, stick right here. Left, right, up, down. That's all you get. <laughs> Hope it runs.
feels like you're flying a helicopter. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this is how you get to work every day. I like to fly to work if I can, yeah. This is so cool. All right, brother, where are we at now? We're at the Freedom Factory. We got a couple of garages here. They're not the most spectacular garages you've ever seen. Well, you can show us off the Freedom Factory as well. Yeah, I mean, you know the deal. Come on in. This is the best place on earth, in my opinion. We got some golf carts chilling. We'll take one of these golf carts on a little tour. But, you know. This is my favorite spot. This is the first place I walked through when I came here to see it for the first time. And it was just like the best vibe I've ever felt. You were just like, you, you saw the potential in it. Yeah, like I walked through here and I remember there's weeds, you know, probably up to my hips, just growing through these, cra these cracks, like right here, literally. And so, I mean, this is all just full of weeds. These fences covered in weeds, the stands were all wooden, destroyed. But I walked up to right here and I was like, damn, like this is incredible. And then we just figured out a way to make it happen. Well, come on down here, dude. I got a garage. Ah, all right. Um, we only have a few things in here. No like vehicles. Actually, there's one hidden gem. Oh, let me see if she's back. There she is, dude. This came with the track. Oh, it's a freebie. Have, have you even started it yet? No, I've never started it. One day. Suzuki yeah. GS1000. Yeah, Can you handle it? I don't know. 1,000 cc's. It's been sitting here for a while. <laughs> <Have to see. laughs> but one day, I'm going to fire this thing up <laughs> and rip it. What the heck is this, dude? Oh, is this an ice cream machine? One of the guys must have bought this. You didn't. You didn't know he had I an ice cream machine. Yeah, this unit, dude, this thing looks bad to the bone. <laughs> Put McDonald's out of business. Have you ever dreamed of rolling around in your own GTR? Well, this could be you pulling up to the pump to fill up your dream 650 all-wheel horsepower GTR. Not only that with $15,000 in your pocket. And right now on 1320video.com, we're doing three entries for every dollar you spend to win this car in the 15 grand. So head on over there, start shopping. You never know, this could be you. All aboard, brother. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Hold we on. got the lights on now. Yeah, dude. I don't think we have a siren on this, sadly. See all the boys are out here cleaning up. We got Mr. Josh over there. So this is Tom Bailey's semi that he left here. I thought it was supposed to be a week, but here we are just months later. It's, so, it's April now. It's now mine. It's now. Oh. I just claimed it. Okay. Cletus, how many, how many vehicles do you own? Do you even know? I don't know the count, but someone can count on today's video. This is one of my Crown Vicks. That's one of my other Crown Vicks. That's one of my Crown Vicks right there, that green car. Yeah. That blue car over there, that's one of my Crown Vicks. Okay. One next to that's one of my Crown Vicks. This is one of my Crown Vicks. Those two are both mine. That Those other two are mine. We got a couple more over here that are ours. We, yeah. All those Crown Vicks are ours. All of them? Yeah. Okay. And they all run. Crown do Vicks you, never do. Do you have like 50 or 60 of these things? What do you got? I think, 100? I think property counts over 100. Are you serious? Oh, brother, I got a collection I'm about to show you. We got the Bald Regal. That's the Motion Racer's burnout car. We got toast sitting here. Should we fire it up? Let's uh, fire it up. You got to. You fired up your leaf blower. We got to fire up this I know, one. I know. See an entire header tube is off. I, I can I saw that too. There's yeah. an entire header tube. That's not good. Got a KM X3 over here. As well as some of our Crown Vicks. Um, some more Crown Vicks. We got a few Crown Vicks here. This thing's got a turb ski on it. 
Bigger Turski. Runs on race gas. She's a unit. Runs and drives. Is that a Dale Earnhardt? That's George's Daily. Are you, uh, really? Yeah. I did not know George Daly this. <laughs> yeah, George Daly's this thing, dude. I think right now it might have a bad water pump, but yes, this is George's normal daily. Did you know that George drives two hours to work every day? No. Really? Yes, two hours here, two hours home. Every day. In this bad unit. So we had to give him something fast. <laughs> got a Monte Carlo SS. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So we got a couple more Crown Vicks back here that are ours. Another Crown Vic there. Ah, oh, dude, let me you show you. You have your own fire, show you fire, fire truck. Yeah, freaking heck yeah. So water trucks are super expensive. And when we put in all the grass, we didn't have uh, irrigation. And water trucks, really expensive. Fire trucks, not expensive. Same thing though. Same thing, but how much, how much does it hold? 500 gallons. And this is a 95 Pierce, 1990 Pierce. She runs, I guarantee you. Straight pipe. Got the straight pipe on her. Hold on, wait for it. Not enough air in her yet. But you get the idea. So this is literally your your water truck, basically, is what you use yeah, it for? Yeah, yeah, we bought it for five grand and it's just 500 gallon water truck but it can actually launch water really far if you want oh okay versus your standard water truck can't go that far this thing choo her as far as you want we got the freedom 500 winning vehicle here vaughn's car oh we got rod knock rodney this here is george's twin turbo ls silverado this is his burnout car this is george's burnout vehicle gotcha aka rod knock rodney is it knocking right now no, no, not rod knocking today. I, do, I can't start it though, because it doesn't have the exhaust on it. But this thing rips. Also kind of a piece of junk, but whatever. <laughs> Before we get to the Freedom Factory's garage, we have Donnie, AKA Donald, for his more, you know, fancy name. This is your drift mobile. Yep. What's done to this one? LS7 headed 427, revs to like freaking 9,000 sometimes. Really? Yeah. Yep, we just kind of let the valves float where they want. <laughs> Solid roller deal, just real nice drift car. C5 obviously, handbrake, angle kit, and a lot of horsepower, and it's just, it's a great car. This is Garza's Taco Bell Miata that has recently been crashed. I, I, he did hit a wall, didn't he, with it? It's hit the wall several times. So mm. it was crunched to about here, it's now crunched quite a bit further. I guess it still runs though. And then we got the mystery machine, 13B in this unit. I could probably fire this up, this thing usually starts. People at home, we apologize for, actually for the people that wearing headphones right now, we apologize for what just happened. Uh, send, your medical, right <laughs> send your medical bills to Mr. Cletus on that one. All right. Oh, frick, dude, neighbor threw a rod. On, on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, the motor was done in it. Like it had like 10 pounds of oil pressure when I went in the burnout pad. So we went this to, is This is also one of the cars that you guys, you basically started with, one of their first cars, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, this is, uh, it was basically, it was, it was the C7, then Leroy, then, then this. this. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he's my boy neighbor. So we're putting a coyote in this, which will be really cool. Now in the Freedom Factory garage, we've got a lot of Nitto tires because Nitto helps us out with our races. So we just got Nitto tires for days, a lot of, Hard work goes down here getting these Crown Vicks ready. That's why it looks like a disaster. I was about to say, is this basically the Crown Vic garage right here? <laughs> this is the Crown Vic spot right here. That's where most of the hardcore stuff gets done. We got a Can Am Defender 6x6, you know? That's our runaround ripper. This is Zach's new car. I don't know the name for it. I've heard a couple ones going around, like Sardine. Sardine. And stuff. So, yeah, this is a Fairmont with a 98 Cobra engine. Some nitrous, we literally just bought it and he ripped it this weekend. Nice. He actually, 
He actually ran into the fire truck, like the EMS truck. He ran he did, ran into it during his burnout. <laughs> so, you know, Zach's out of control. <laughs> oh, we got a John Deere. Can't forget about the zero turn. We got a John Deere from. This our, is where this is what you manicured your whole yeah. free factory lawn with, right? Yeah, here. this is this bad unit gets the work done. Everglades equipment. You know, they hooked us up right when we got the track with this bad unit. It's a Z970 and it's just been so solid. We've the same mower that we started the, the entire Freedom Factory series with three years ago. So tires haven't gone flat yet, obviously. Right, right. Very good tires, <laughs> real good tires. So yeah, that's cool. And then we'll grab the golf cart and we'll head out back. Hell yeah. Wait, out back? I thought we were out back. No. You have more here? Brother, we got another 20 acres of live action. Oh geez. We haven't even been in the bone yard yet, that we call it. <laughs> Yeah, this is your pace truck? Yeah, this is a summit racing pace van right here. You know, we just needed a nice ripper racing equipment van. And uh, Summit's a sponsor of the Freedom 500. They have been for the last three years. So we got this awesome uh, Summit pace van. All right. We All right. This is the back 40. Yeah, we, yep. And we got my power horse generator right there. I've had that since the inception of my YouTube channel. A couple Crown Vicks. And then we got our Everglades tractor over here too with the bush hog on the back. Old 500E. Couple more crown vicks. That's Josh's truck. I don't know what he's doing with that. We got a couple of Rangers for the Danger, Danger Ranger. Ranger. Yeah. Oh, there's the old Summit van. Another Ranger back here. Oh, see, so just got a crown vic that's getting parted out right there. All right. I'm going to ask a question. Have you ever, since the start of your YouTube channel, have you sold anything? <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. I'm kind of a collector you know for for lack of better return well at least you have the the the, the space for it you yeah know? that's the beauty of the freedom factory i sold the galaxy i think that's the only thing that's the only thing you've sold is and the i have this one really big hovercraft and i sold that too but most of the other stuff i just keep because i know one day it can come in handy so we got i don't know what another 10 10 or 15 crown vix right here <laughs> there's a ranger sitting up there I mean, a lot of these cars are good. Like that, like a couple of these Crown Vicks will get reused later this year, so we can't get rid of them. Toyota Camry, right there. This is the Motion Raceworks Mercs trailer. That's my enclosed car trailer. This is, you know, just another pile of beautiful Crown Victorias, along with a Mustang that's owned by Spencer. James has a Camaro back here. What the hell? I've never seen that thing before. Yeah, yeah, that's Justin Keith's Camaro there. That's my UTV hauler Crown Vic. You still have that thing? Yeah, oh yeah. This is uh, Alex Jetski. This is where the Crown Vicks are at, bro. You seeing this? Feast oh your eyes, bro. My <laughs> God. Yeah, we got a lot of cars back here. But we keep good track of them. Is this the boneyard? This is, yeah, this is kind of the boneyard. You know, this is where we just keep cars for parts. You know, like when they're totally shot out, we bring them back here. Uh, we got the old F-150 that came with the track. A couple more Crown Vicks. You can see that's a Crown Vic. That, yep. Yeah. What uh, about, is that black one yours? Yeah, that's, our, that's one of our Crown Vicks. Okay. What's with the random Land Rover? That is my mom's. Oh, so I think she's probably around here somewhere doing something B related. So, so this is our uh, what are those called? K truck? Yeah, Honda K truck. Mm. JH got me that for my birthday. Really? It looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. the clutch is blown in it. But you have buses back here? Yeah, dude. These are our racing buses for the tour and destruction. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is kind of like our tour and destruction pile because you know we do the boat race, the trailer race too. So we got all the buses just chilling. And then these are some boats that'll be in the next boat and trailer race. <laughs> do, you, do you think you have a tally of how many Crown Vicks you've bought? I think I've bought over 140. And I think 25 or 30 of them have been scrapped. Because we had a guy who would come and buy them for scrap. But now we just keep them because we need the parts. So, And we have so much space. Yeah. So. Some people are like, oh, please buy all the Crown Vicks. There's over a million Panther chassis in existence. 150 is nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you. For I'm like, how can that. you guys say that I have in, even impacted that market at all? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm only showing how awesome they are. So, I don't know. Maybe I did raise the prices, but it couldn't have been, you know, more than a couple percent. It's basically a four-door Mustang, <laughs> right? I mean... I think of them. I think of them more as like a tank, just a full-on road. Just tank. a tank. <laughs> yeah, this is the Freedom Factory F250 right here. That's the old 
track truck. And that's it for the Freedom Factory, I think. Okay, we're gonna head over to a shop next and check out, I don't know, how many more do you got? There's a lot of cars oh, over there. We're gonna go over there and check <laughs> all the cars out over there too. A lot of vehicles too. everywhere. All right, well, welcome to the shop side. This is where, this is the race shop. This is where all the real magic happens. I mean. This is where the fun cars are too. Yeah, yeah, this is where all the fun stuff is. This is where we cage the Crown Vicks. I mean, normally we've got a 1991 model Ty over here who does a lot of welding. We got a 1992 model okay. jack stand. Nice. It's good for, uh, you know, just about anything. He fixed it by anything. 91 model Two. LS George, 92 model LS George, <laughs> all around ripper. Great film guy, too. <laughs> 94, no, 96 model Zach. That oh, hu hustler film. right there. <laughs> 19, 1945 model <laughs> Mr. Sam. Still working, still, still going strong, still going strong. And he can outwork all of us. So, yeah, that's just, that's the first, you know, sort of items here at the shop. The most important part of the shop right here is the There you guys. go. There you go. I was going to ask you what, what, I was going to ask you what, what part of the shop is just irreplaceable. Yeah, it's just, and it's the crew guys. right here that yeah. does everything. And Leroy. Leroy's not Marlin. Yeah. Dino Marlin. Yeah, and the Dino Marlin. Yeah. yeah. And the Blazer. The Blazer. <laughs> yeah. You want to add and some also more stuff? Oh, <laughs> Mullen. <laughs> <laughs> how big how big is the building? So the building is 7,000 square feet. Jeez. I don't know the exact dimensions, but that's what 7, it is. 7,000 square yeah, feet. Yeah, 7,000. And then about a fourth of it is taken up by the office, which I'll give you a quick gander in here. Let's see, this is my office right here. I mean, I don't really have an office. I just sit in here with all the guys. This is my spot. That's James' spot, and that's Ty's spot. <laughs> and then the other guys don't really have a spot. At they least you guys, you guys have spots. Yeah, we just... You know, me, James, and Ty are in the office the most. Ty uses CAD. I use, uh, you know, editing, and then James orders all the parts. And then in here, we just got, you know, kind of like when we get deliveries, we put them in here. Let's see what we got in the fridge today. A couple Bar Bartle Skeets, maybe? I wash station, you know. All right, we got some Red Bulls. We got some hot sauce. Dude, no Mountain Dews in here right now, I don't think. That's sacrilegious. Yeah, I know. For people, you, People for are going to be like, they're, they're phonies. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got some steaks. Oh, nitrous bottle. So you know, just all the right stuff. Nitrous bottle and steak and bubble burgers. Here's the engine room. Oh, hold on. <laughs> just Come an on. intake on the ground. Yeah, you know, we got a short block. We got Ruby's intake there. Leroy spare transmission. Bunch of pistons, rods, cylinder heads, transmissions, clutches, things like that. Another LS short block. That's a Texas Speed. 416 long block, just an NA deal. You know, head gaskets, keep them stacked. Pretty, so pretty much yeah. this this is a pretty used place because you guys are hard on stuff. Yeah, like if we do have to build an engine, we'll just kind of clear some stuff out and then this is a nice, clean, air-conditioned, right. well-lit room for doing that. Gotcha. But for the most part, we just store engines in it. And yeah, our machining room, this is kind of like... Sh I didn't know you did, had all this. Yeah, I mean, we've machined and built everything here now besides major engine components. So we can't machine a block and we can't machine a cylinder head, but every other part that is on our cars is all just done in here. You know, Ty, Ty will build it out in CAD and get some stuff maybe like printed uh -huh. locally. But you know, other than that, we, we can lay it out. We do all our uh, hose crimped. We crimp all our hose ends now. So all our fuel systems are crimped. We do it all in here, brother. Damn, yeah. all right. We're getting it going. I mean. We saved a lot of money overall by just buying the machines and then not having to wait hours. Oh, I guess that's fair. Cause sometimes machine stuff. work can take weeks. Just oh, it takes so long. Yeah. We got the Dynocom. Uh, I think this thing's rated for 3,500 horsepower. Holy shit. I think the Dyno record on I was about, it. I was about to ask, what is the Dyno record 2100 here? 2100 from Mullet. From Mullet. Yeah. We got over yonder, tire machine. This thing, I'm guessing changed 80 tires last week for the Crown Vix. Yeah, you guys had so many out there. Yeah, a lot of nittos. This is Zach's toolbox. Zach does a lot of wrenching. I would say Zach does probably the most wrenching in the shop out of anybody. That guy just always wrenching on something. And then he's got this roll around. This is like what he takes to whatever car he's working on. 
and you know he's just stacked up in here i think a lot of his tools are over at the freedom factory right now but zach is just either wrenching or wiring at all times so he's got that as his main box and then he rolls this one around and then this is george's box not crazy no i figured george would have like a big box like that yeah well when George moved here, he kind of, you know, he just, this is all he had. And there's not that much of a need for George to have a crazy tool set because George wrenches a little bit, but most of the time he's with me filming videos gotcha. and stuff like that. So he definitely wrenches, but if he needs, you know, more tools, he'll just kind of grab whatever uh, James or Zach have if he really needs to, but he does a lot with that box. This is James box right here. Custom box, so box they built for us. That's pretty tricked out and my boy beats on it pretty good, but he's got a ton of, this thing's filled to the brim with tools and it's been really good to us. So he just rolls us around to whatever car he's working on. Nice. Back here, we just keep some fuel storage, things like that. We got a big oil tank, just full of oil. We put all our used oil in that and then they just come out here and pump it out every, whatever, six months. Over yonder, we got a sick setup from Bolts I was going to say, this looks like a dream setup for anybody that's yes. ever like, and they need to go to stool, the store for like one nut. Yeah. Or one and bolt. I always thought, you know, it'd be a nightmare to buy one of those. You know, they're pretty expensive, but the amount of money we save, because one guy goes to get two bolts from Ace Hardware and he's there for 30 minutes. Right. You know, it was, it was costing me a fortune in time. So buying that saved me a lot of money. But a month ago, all this stuff was freaking dialed, but here we are. And then, yeah, this is where the bolts and nuts set is sick. I really like this setup and we saw it at PRI, but you can just scan this with your phone to reorder it, which is so nice. So I when you're low on something, you literally just scan yeah. it and it takes you right to the page. Yeah, so James, you know, one of the guys will be like, hey James, like that men's low, he'll just walk up, scan it and order it you know, piece of cake. And this is literally any nut and bolt yeah. size that you could possibly. And all the specialty, you know, bolts and stuff like that and, you know, Literally, we have everything we need. I mean, there's very rare we have to go buy a bolt anymore because of bolts and nuts. Wiring set up here. We have thousands of dollars in wiring, too. I, because miles of wiring. Yeah, yeah. Miles of wiring. Zach built this thing like the first week he was working here because Zach loves wiring. It's kind of a weirdo. And I was about like, to say, how long did it take you to find somebody yeah. that loved wiring? A long time. Yeah. And when Zach first started here, he was like, man, you know, I want to spend a, a couple thousand dollars in wire. And I was like, damn, a couple grand for wires? Mm -hmm. But uh, now, you know, it's just set up. We're dialed, we don't have to worry about it. It's so worth it to, uh, you know, just give these guys what they want. I spent a lot of years being like, no, you know, make it work with what you've got. And now, you know, just, I'm like, if you want it, let's just get it. Cause then they can do it right the first time. Right. <laughs> that really helps. So, but then, you know, just, Bunch of random stuff like seals and plugs. Let's see what we got in here. Random stuff to plug up AN lines if you're going down the road. O-rings, things like that. P-clips. I mean, what do we got here? Cam sensors, crank sensors. How long did it take you from when you bought this place to get it to, to this is like a legit yeah. running working shop, but you only work on your own cars here. I know, yeah, it, this is a straight up performance shop. Oh, for, for sure, yeah. yeah. You guys just happen to do it privately. Like, <laughs> if, we, if we wanted to switch over and take customers, I mean, we could build a lot of cars. We build, I think, really, really high quality cars um, and we can build them fast, which is the best part. You know, a lot of guys, it takes years to build cars, you know, and we can, we can bust out some work super fast. We did 25 roll cages in eight days for, for the freedom 500, 25, yeah. 25 crown big race cars from no cages, nothing done to them to full blown. And these know, weren't, race cars. these weren't four point cages. They were like, no, full, like triple, no, triple door bar and everything. Triple door bar. They're, they're serious cages. And that's also window nets, seat mounts, seats, you know, harnesses, nitrous systems, and a huge roll cage. We did 25 of them in a week. So just crazy group of guys here. The super motivated group of guys, you know, and then over here, this is Ty's station. This is Ty's area. You could call it, you know, the guys use the parts cleaner, but once you're past this line, you're in Ty's area. <laughs> so Got a uh, pipe bender, got a notcher right here. This is all really good stuff, exactly what Ty wanted. Got Ty's welding table right here. He's got uh, everything he wants over in this area, so he can really bust out some welding, you know. He can knock out a turbo kit in maybe two days, 
three days and he did a full custom header kit on mullet in five days you know built brand new headers full turbo kit this is uh i think this is like a welder's paradise or a fabricator's paradise but you'd have to ask ty yourself so out of the shop equipment stuff i know the the guys are you're, that's the best part is you, yeah. you guys have you have good crew but out of shop equipment what's the most like irreplaceable thing that you guys would just be like you guys would be like lost without it type thing for the general use of the shop oh car lift car lift if you didn't have if we didn't have a car lift <laughs> it'd be brutal i mean shout out to all the jack stand mechanics out there because that is some hard work working on jack stands all the time these lifts man they're lifesavers didn't have those we'd be in trouble so, all right you've given us a grand tour of yeah all of the all of the race car the stuff from racing shop yes let's get into the cars all right let's do start it. start wherever you want mm. I need to see them all. Yeah, we'll, we'll start in here and then we'll go outside to the storage barn and there's a lot of stuff in there. Too. I was gonna say, that's a new building too. Well, it, it was, we've always had a building but it got knocked down in the hurricane. So right, okay. we, when we rebuilt it, we put sides on it. Gotcha. Keep, apparently pole barns in Florida and hurricanes, real bad idea. <laughs> so this is a Blazer and it's got a Bluetooth LS engine in it. Is that new technology? Yeah, brand new technology, Okay. invisible. Now this is normally a 1071 methanol breathing big old traditional supercharged right. engine like you know the big beautiful blower on top and i think the fastest time on this car is an 8.7 at maybe like 155 or something like that so the blazer is pretty quick but we just broke the crank on it maybe three weeks ago so blazer is down right now but we got a new texas speed short block here for it up next we have mcflurry our fox body mustang it's got a 750 cage in it it's got a Godzilla 7.3 liter engine in it that we built here at the shop. It's got billet rods. So these turbos are the ones that came off of the final rendition of Leroy 1.0. Okay. So they're 76 millimeter precision turbos that we put on Leroy. And then we went out and blew them up immediately. The turbos didn't really get to see much action. They sat upstairs for six months. And then when we built McFlurry, the 76s from Leroy went on here. So Godzilla, and then we have a Bruno Lanco in this car. That's my favorite part about the whole yeah, car. Yeah, it's the best. So maybe we'll take her for a cruise because there's no cooler feeling than yanking those levers. <laughs> the levers on the Bruno Lanco. That's McFlurums. Hell yeah. How much power <clears throat> McFlurry good for? You know, we never dynoed McFlurry with the new engine, but I would say, hmm, 1500 really yeah for sure okay. i think it can easily make 1500. next we've got killa b who is an australian burnout car say, this you is have import. seen this in australia before with me actually i did yeah, yeah. when we went over to australia in like 16 or 17. summer nats so yeah we went over there several years ago and then when they shipped it over here COVID hit and then they they came over once and drove the car decided they wanted to sell it to someone in the u.s i was like brother i can't can't let anyone else have this thing so we bought it and we're just finishing up some stuff on it we had a part failure right before the event this weekend so it hasn't ran yet but we're gonna fire it up as soon as some parts show up for it and this one's got a steve morris big block yep steve morris big block chevy <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> it's a it's a 565 cubic inch big block with a 1471 blower on it so gotcha it's a bad unit right and here. it's a uh, right hand drive Yes, and it's a right-hand drive fifth gen Camaro. Real weird. Real and weird. And it has an air ride rear suspension. It's got a what? lot of weird, unique stuff. Really? Like 22 inch front wheels. Yeah, it's just a crazy car. So, Australian. Over here, we got the Aerial Atom, fresh off a of W. Jack Stan's about to put some tires on it because the tires on it are cooked, but I just won this bad unit. So, I don't know. I think we're going to do a giveaway with it in a couple months after we make some content with it. But oh, yeah. You just rode in it. I did. I took, we took it off. to lunch, and yeah, my face was numb afterwards. <laughs> yeah. If those, if those little, uh, what do you call them? The air deflectors. Yeah. yeah if those thing. were like six inches taller, you yeah, wouldn't feel anything. It'd be great. We might have to look into that. All right. Up next is the ugh, famous mullet. This is my boy right here. This is the car that's gotten our channel more W's than any other car in the fleet. This is uh, about 5,000 horsepower capable. It's got twin 94 millimeter turbos on it and a Steve Morris billet SMX big block. So this would be the same kind of engine that uh, Tom Bailey would have yeah, in his car. Yeah, same engine as Tom Bailey. So the only difference with this engine and Tom Bailey's is this one has uh, thrown eight rods before. So. <laughs> 
you could call this the scratch and dent special is what we've been calling it and this is the engine out of steve's personal car that he gave to us he's building a new engine for his car but yeah super bad to the bone engine it is actually having some issues right now so we're going to be working on mullet this week but it's got an m m turbo 400 in it which is an insane transmission it's got lock up go down track lock the converter this thing will do you know 225 miles an hour or so on a relatively low boost and how many street miles do you have on it like this or after mm. you guys i guess originally got it from ksr when we put a yeah when we finished the car i mean i probably put close to maybe close to 10,000 miles on it now that's so wild with the ls and then the big block and now the smx so the smx i haven't put really many street miles on but definitely this year it'll get hopefully 3,000. Yeah, you, know? you do, what, how many drag and drives do you do with this? Minimum, we do three drag and drives a year with this car, but sometimes it's four or five, so it just depends on what cars are running when <laughs> when uh, the event comes. But if Mullet's good, he's definitely my favorite drag and drive car. I mean, this thing has cool shirt system in it for the street. It cruises at 85 mile an hour down the street, no problem. It's got a great trailer that it rips. Does this have a, a gear vendors or? No, but you lock the converter on the street in this. So it's like a fifth gear. And it's just like. Or it's like a. Just it's kind of like an overdrive. overdrive I mean, yeah. it's not, it's obviously not overdrive, it's one to one. But because it has a 340 rear gear in the back of it and it's got a pretty tall rear tire, I mean, cruising at 85 mile an hour is no big deal. And Steve builds these engines to have a real nice valve train in them and they just hold up you know awesome last year we had zero issues with our big block until i threw a rod bent the crank in it but you know what? we're not gonna worry about that so this is just the most badass car for street driving it runs on pump gas till it sees five pounds of boost and it switches to methanol so i mean i could literally make a 6.4 second run at 220 miles an hour and then drive right off the track and go to mcdonald's really yeah, and if it had a full tank of gas, I mean, I could make a run. I could make a run and then go on a 200-mile drive with zero changes. I mean, zero changes because it immediately switches back to pump gas when I let off the throttle. So the only thing that would suck is that I'd be driving on my racing tires. Gotcha. That's, cool. That's I didn't realize that. That's pretty remarkable. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And, I mean, yeah, you do have to lash the valves when you get to the track just to check them, but they never move, I mean, to be honest. Sometimes I don't do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right, next we have... Well, let me finish one other thing about mullet. Okay. Twin parachutes, dude. 220. Your boy mullet, street ripper, and... I guess, we'll, oh, hold on, sorry. I lost my train of thought there. Your boy mullet, the definition of party in the front. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy mullet, definition of business in the front, party in the back. Right. That's the deal. So, on to our next, my boy Leroy. This dude. is the car that most of your fans, I would yeah. say, w would associate you with first, is this car, right? This is definitely the car that put me on the map in racing. And not even because it was fast, but more so probably because, you know, everyone was like, this kid's an idiot. Well, everybody's <laughs> like, that's not a Corvette anymore. Yes. I've heard that so many times. Yeah, the whole it's not a Corvette thing was huge for me. I mean, think about how many just haters I had. You, you, I mean, you were right there through all of it. Like, people just hated that I called this a Corvette, but also wanted to see it kind of go fast. So it just worked out. You know, it's, I bought it off of eBay for $5,000, and now it sits here, and it's been a 701. It's so crazy. In the quarter mile stick shift. So it's an animal of a car. We're having a little bit of trouble getting it to work on, you know, kind of semi good tracks right now. But so you got a Texas Speed 427 hydraulic roller, nothing special, just, you know, kind of their run of the mill stuff. And then you got twin precision 84s and it's on methanol so it has no cooling system and it's just an animal i mean mechanical fuel system got a rpm transmissions t56 in the car six speed bunch of motion raceworks parts we've got a really awesome frankenstein intake on the car back here ty basically did a pro mod back half it's on so car. crazy to see it especially because yeah. i've seen some pro mods without the body on them and when i saw this for the first time in the back it's like that that's straight up race car stuff it's right straight up a like pro mod back half yeah it's know? it looks great and it doesn't break stuff which is awesome all right right here we got my wife's car maddie's 911 turbo s and Originally, I bought it for myself and just told everyone it was going to be my wife's car, but now 
she drives it more than me. I was about to say, so. I, I, I've seen you guys over the past few days. I haven't seen you behind the wheel once. I've seen yeah, Maddie. Yeah, the really the best way for me to get my hands on it is to tell her that I'm going to get it washed. And so that's what I did today. Because <laughs> I told her I'm going to get it washed. I brought it here and Sam cleaned it. And it's, look, it's looking good. This is a just great car. You can launch it unlimited times. So, is I it mean, stock right now, or did you guys tune it up? It's got down pipes, um, some intake stuff, and a tune. That's it. What so, kind of power is it making? I think it makes 650. Oh, and how much power oh. does Leroy make now? Ooh, Leroy? I mean, 16, 1700, I would think. That engine is, like, good at. Uh -huh. We ran 44 pounds of boost the other day, and it held it until about 1,000 feet, and then it tweaked a rod. So, I mean, that, up in that boost level i'd say it's in the 1700 gotcha range but that's definitely starting to hurt some stuff yeah this is 650 but you know i've probably launched it a hundred thousand times now <laughs> and i think it's the, the number of times you can launch it is infinity so that's why i really love this thing nice you just never you can never have to stop beating on it i can just take it you think we need to get kyle a porsche yeah he it's the it. only thing that won't break well, Kyle, Kyle will put that one to the test. I don't think he can break it. Uh, <laughs> we got a couple of Crown Vicks. If you guys haven't seen any of those, we got a Ranger. Uh, what this, is this? This is a Cougar that was uh, injured by the hurricane. We planned to do a, a small build on it, but now it's got some body damage. So you can see the building fell on it, crunched her a little bit. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do with it. We'll see. Another Crown Vic. Yeah, and then we got James Sentra that he bought for our like thousand dollar car challenge a while ago. We got a Ute that I bought from Doug. Where? Just randomly? This and it looks like. Yeah, it's gonna be a burnout car. Okay. One day. This is our. Oh wow. Probably some water in that engine. <laughs> there should be something covering this, <laughs> and there's not. Okay, not gonna worry about that. This is our science vehicle. It's a good old LS science vehicle. Garza's Miata. There's a jet ski back there. Don't worry about that. This is Chad's Mustang that has a blown engine. I bought an engine from George and he's like, oh yeah, it's good. We put it in, started up, rod knock. Come on, George. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> we got my old race week trailer. We got our wedge, our Kaufman wedge. This is my favorite trailer of all time right here. It looks so cool when you guys pull in with it because you got three, three cars on it's there. It's just the most versatile trailer ever built is it a 40 foot in history no it's uh 53 feet holy shit this is the best trailer ever best trailer ever if you can tow a gooseneck don't buy anything else buy a coffin wedge and i it's not a sponsored deal i just i bought it for freaking 10 grand and it's toes like i don't know i just love that trailer we got parker's race week trailer we got i think doug's trailer i'm not even sure whose trailer that is <laughs> and then we got my double mini jet boat trailer Double mini jet boat. Yeah, which we got the mini jet boats in here. Okay, so this building, you guys got hit by the hurricane. This was a just... Yeah, it was a pole barn, and it got knocked down, landed on the toter home, tore a bunch of stuff up, tore up the bald regal, tore up that cougar, tore up a side-by-side, -side, a trailer, and then, yeah, obviously my big trailer, and, you know, even some more stuff. It did a lot of damage. So when you guys rebuilt, how big is this building now? Um, it, it's the same as what it was. It's a 40 by 100. So okay. It's, you know, I, I think it's actually 35 by 100. But it's a great, great building now. And it won't, it's hurricane rate. So this is my F-150 that I just wrapped a color that is very ugly. So that, can I, can I just say what color it looks like to me? Yeah. Ball sack tan? Ball sack tan, it's, I think it's kind of a peanut butter mayonnaise myself, but peanut butter mayonnaise. if that's what your ball sack looks like, then I guess. <laughs> it's nice, it's flesh colored, let's just go there. So yeah, this is a turbo F-150, but this turbo, too small. So we got a new turbo for it, we're gonna put that on this week, and then it should rip. And it's a Coyote car? Yep, Coyote, 10 speed, all wheel drive. This is my mini jet truck, I don't know if you've ever seen this. Normally it has a jet on it, but it has this afterburner and I held it down for really long. I guess you're only supposed to do the afterburner for like 10 seconds. Yeah. I might have gone over a minute or so How? and it melted a lot of stuff. And then it also melted 
the turbine internally. So oh. we're, we're getting that serviced right now. How fast does it go? It's actually not very fast. Oh, it just sounds really cool. Yeah, because it has a gas engine in it too. And it's, you know, it's like a golf cart engine and the golf cart engine actually, you know how it can limit the speed of a golf cart? Yeah. Unless you were to take the belt off, you really wouldn't be able to let the turbine go. Oh, but, unless you put it in neutral or something yeah, so like that? Yeah, so you can go up to wide open throttle on both and it just kind of like starts to ride the transmission, the belt. Gotcha. So, I don't think you want to go much faster than whatever 20 that it does because you may, you know, find yourself in a real situation. So we got the do boat, arguably the best jet boat to ever exist. Is this your favorite of your boats? Absolutely. Okay. This is, well, I, and I'm not just saying it's my favorite because I built it. This one drives the best. Really? I don't know if it's because the way I welded her or what. <laughs> She's a little out of shape compared to the other ones. But this thing just drives the best out of all the jet boats we have. What engine does it got in this one? It has a Sea-Doo Rotax 300 horsepower supercharged. Oh, I'll, I'll cold rev it for you right now. <laughs> oh, never mind, my battery got left on. No cold revs. RIP. <laughs> I'll cold rev James though. Like, there's just a lot of differences with the boats because, for example, James built his so that it opens the opposite direction. You know, and now whenever James is in his boat on the water and it breaks down, he can't even work it on it. Oh, that's fair. And I argued with him for like an hour and I was like, well, you didn't build your boat that way. I'll build mine the right way. And now when he has to fix his, he has to get on the back and he can't access the steering wheel. You know, it's just a whole. since summer that thing does not sound good i'll have to tell james about that <laughs> giveaway tahoe which has been now that's over so this is going to be somebody's announced by this video they'll know who, whose it is but lt4 supercharged tahoe built by killer performance out of kansas city this is corn cob this has a small block mopar in it that's kind of a uh like a late model race car engine it's, it's pretty sick this is owned by Roman Atwood. So we built it for him because he wanted a burnout car. Okay. She's a ripper. Did you guys find it like this on like yes. Marketplace or yes. something? Yes, he bought it for like five grand off Marketplace, shortened. Over here, we got our boy, the Dale truck. Definitely one of my all time favorite vehicles. I don't do a ton with it because of the fear of it getting damaged. Cause you can't just go like order these body panels anymore. Well, yeah. I mean, this is definitely like one of the more valuable cars that I own and I would just hate for something bad to happen to it. So we kind of cherish it. It's got a really nice Texas speed 427, but it revs to the moon. It loves nitrous. This truck has been nine, 12 or something in the has it really? Mile. Yeah. Stick shift. So is it a T56 or T56? Yeah. It's a super fast truck, but, uh, we just kind of, you know, savor it, which I know some people want to see us beat on it. So we do the videos here and there where we drag race it, uh -huh. take it to Bristol, do laps, but only special occasions because I don't want to hurt my baby. That's fair. That's fair. And then we got Ruby over here in the corner, like a neglected child. Yeah. Ruby's looking rough, dude. Had to pull her engine out, uh, had some head gasket issues and maybe like a slightly bent rod. So we pulled the engine out and it's just getting serviced and it'll get put back in, but she's ready to rip. Power Glide Corvette. This thing's been a 753 mm -hmm. in a quarter mile. So very fast car. This is another one of your guys' and drag and drive. Drag and drive river. Mm -hmm. This thing can go all day down the street. And I love that Power Glide in it. It's sweet. So this is my RTR drift car that uh, Von Gittin Jr. set me up with. This thing is absolutely insane. It is the hardest car I've ever driven. Really? Like it's so- Just hard to learn? Steep learning well, curve on it? I don't know. Like I've driven a lot of drift cars and this one is just to a level that's so extreme. It has anti-squat. So like when you hit the throttle, the back end stands up off the ground. It does all this crazy stuff. So the only way to make it functionally drift is to just be wide open. I mean, absolutely zero holding back. You have to get in, put the car to the floor and just pray. Like it is insane. So I still suck is this, at driving. Is this like is this bit. like Vaughn getting spec then? Kind of. Yeah, it's literally his his old car. So. Gotcha. 
And then we got the race week trailer, which is just chilling. We're just pulling some parts out of it for this weekend and stuff, but she's good to go. Nice. So they, I think, I think that's most of the cars. I, I don't think we got every single one because we missed Maddie's Tahoe and we missed <laughs> the Toter home in the trailer because they're getting fixed from the hurricane damage. But other than that, I think I got you guys to pretty much everything. Okay. Well, now that we've seen everything, all of your buildings, all of everything, yeah. we need to see your top three. My top three. Yeah. Starting we, with number three. Starting with number three. Okay. What well, is let's it? go back to the Freedom Factory for the Carbon Cub. Okay. We gotta get some aviation on the top three list. Oh, for sure. All right. For number three, he said he had to throw some aviation in there, so you're gonna go for the ride. Awesome. Because I got a ride over here from his house. Yep. And this is literally your dream plane right here. Yes, it is. So you're gonna go for a ride, ask him all the questions. Woody doesn't normally get to do this on the on these 1320 garages, nope. but this is special. I like this. Yeah. I like this for Woody. If a girl ever does that, get into your car. That's how I know I'm gonna wife her up. Still waiting on a girl to do that. Then. Oh, I'm still waiting on any girl to <laughs> give me any level of attention. Oh, I am single and I do like women, so I just... like how you're using this video as a plug. Yeah, well, he knows for this dating. Is be the most viewed one. Clearly, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> they must just not know that you're of single, course. ready to make. That's what it is. For you see these pedals up here. See, you can push on those too, but I'd prefer it if you did not push on those. I will not be pushing on okay. those pedals. So just keep your feet clear of those, and then obviously the stick's gonna move too. Okay. So just have yep. to be oh, clear of that. Gives you a nice little, nice little rubbing. <laughs> Again, looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Fred, you wanna take a couple steps back? We'll yeah. fire it up. See you, boys. See you, buddy. We'll see you in a minute. This is incredible. We're flying. So what's your main use with this plane here? Are you exploring around the Florida wildlife? Yeah, or? just exploring with her for now. Yeah? Yeah. Have you gone anywhere that you think is uncharted yet? Or do you have any plans to go somewhere like that? Oh, I definitely want to hit up Alaska, you know, do, oh. the, do the real deal. Brother, that would be incredible. One day. Yep. All right, so uh, open that window latch. OK. Hey. There you go. Now you can really enjoy the outdoors. Dang, that's nice. We're gonna turn our carb heat on. All right, go ahead and grab the stick a little bit if you want. Okay, I got it. Actually, hold on. Okay. All right, now go ahead and grab the stick if you want. Yep. Yep. Go ahead and push her forward a little bit. Okay. There you go. Your nose down. If you want, you can make a big right-handed turn. Yep. Kind of turn her to the right a little bit and then just kind of pull back. Yep. Yep. That's enough bank right there. Don't want to bank much more than that. Pull back a little bit. Yep. There you go. Turn out. Yep. And you do all the way turn, keep turning right. Okay. Yep. Just pull back a little bit. I need to go get some proper lessons. You got this. I definitely want to go get some proper lessons. All right, my controls. I'm gonna take it back. Yes, sir. I got it. All right, we're gonna go in and do a landing. Okay. Oh, this is so cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, man. I got, like I said, I got really, really into the whole bush plane thing, and I, you know, made it a bucket list item that I wanted to get a pilot's license in order to fly and own my own bush plane. And I think this just, you know, re-sparked oh, my obsession. I love it, I hope. I'm gonna be all over Trent and Mike's page again. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yep. Short, short planning here. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I like to do. That's perfect. Woo! Tough. Thanks, Cletus. All right, buddy. Good flying with you, bud. Did you like that short landing? 
That was, that was stout. That I was, it. man, I'm uh, not that good at the short landing stuff yet, but I, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get a little brave with the brakes and do the whole, like, mm. I saw you, you did like an endo on that one. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to really slow it down. Liddy, how was number three? Oh, man, I think number three should have been number one. That was amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you, my YouTube hours are about to be skyrocketing on my bush playing. Liddy's like, again. I'm all about it. See the memory card. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. it's just. It is just the ultimate freedom. You can, man, you can just go anywhere. You're damn right. Hell well, yeah. should we head back to the shop? Yes, Check sir. out number two. Let's do it. Cars, yeah. Let's do it. All right. All right. My number two car has got to be my boy Mullet. Okay. But unfortunately, I can't drive it at the moment. It's, she's down for the count. It actually runs, but it's making a little bit of bearing material at the moment gotcha she, she's so, spitting glitter right now yeah so uh steve's coming in town to fix it and he's like hey if you don't have to drive it don't drive it okay we're still racing the tx2k and stuff but he's like if you don't have to drive it let's leave it i think when steve morris tells you maybe don't take yeah. it out all the time <laughs> but i got something else we can take we can take maddie's car out for a rip okay hell yeah let's do that this is the best all-around versatile ripper you can possibly get and you probably. never get to drive it anymore I mean, I, it's, it's pretty easy to steal it from her. She's got a baby she's got to worry about. That's so. fair. That's fair. Hold on. Let's get her tuition a little harder. <laughs> I was kind of like, why is this his number two? And then and now I, now I kind of get it. Oh, I missed the gear. <laughs> I thought you finally were able to break it there for a second. <laughs> it's a pretty solid launch though for a stick oh, car. Oh, for sure. Or for a stock car. Yeah. So out of your out of all of your cars, why is this one number two? Because I get in it and not worry about it, I think. Okay. Well, you know, a mullet's my number two. This is right. our this is our substitute number two. Right, but you have all those other cars. I, you know, this this just because you can get in it and it's not yeah. you don't have to worry about anything. I think I have so many cars that are high caliber. I just like to be able to launch this one back to back to back and just not care about it. And it has awesome brakes. Oh, <laughs> so it kind of does it all i yeah i guess geez and like if you're racing anyone on the street i mean this is the only car that can really do anything because it isn't just an overpowered rear wheel drive car like everything else i own and for my next move our third launch it'll just do it all day friend <laughs> Have you felt a launch in one of these yet? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let me do one real quick. Okay. This is four. <laughs> we need a launch counter. We've only been in the car for five minutes, by the way, guys. Yeah. All right, so this is where she really rips, out on the freedom path. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I out. knew we were taking the cars out. I didn't think we were <laughs> Well, where did you think we were going? I don't know. And I would say we'd put helmets on, but it's actually better to not have helmets in a car with airbags, in my opinion. Okay. So we're gonna rip no helmets. Are you starting to like this car more? Uh, yeah, a it's lot. It's really such a good car. It's so nice and luxurious inside. Yeah. Let me turn on your air-conditioned seat, brother. What? There no way. Yeah, dude, come on. Oh, it goes what hard. What the fuck? 
goes pretty hard. I huh? guess. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, the back of my mind was like, we'll, we'll take the Porsche. I was like, why that one? I get it now. Jesus. Take Witty for a launch. All you gotta do, put it in drive. Foot down hard on the left brake. So I just pull. I'll pull forward one inch. Just go. Full throttle off the brake. You want me to take Witty out? For yeah, him, dude. do one with him so okay. you can feel it. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, you said you just. Brad's gonna be a Porsche guy brake. after this. Yeah. <laughs> that gives you that nice little feeling that you look for in a car. <laughs> See, anyone can do it. See, it's that easy. It's just that easy. Do one more. You can... Do one more right here. Just hit it. <laughs> oh, that's why I love that car. That oh my God, this is this is so great. Yeah. I didn't think our test drives would be at the track, like on the track. Oh, it's clutch. They didn't gotta worry about any police officers or anything. One more time, Fred. <laughs> They're tough. <laughs> All right, dude, quit beating on my car, man. <laughs> Look at the water temp and trans temp 190 and 2 210. And we just launched it eight times in 10 minutes. Yeah, and the trans temp is 210. Just, you know, one of them things. You know, we should try launching it over this hill. I think that'll feel weird. Uh, absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little wheelie. <laughs> Wait, we should, we should try that again. What if we can catch a little bit of air at the top of the hill? I could say this is this is the most wild 1320 grand. Well, I was just we've thinking so when far. we got to the top of the hill, like, why aren't we launching up this, you know? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did we get air? You did get air. Yeah! <laughs> you came over further to the left than I was pointed, so you gotta do it again. Well, we got it. No, James has a video. We're definitely not doing that again. <laughs> oh, she's dialed. Woo! <laughs> I didn't hear a scrape in the car. I didn't hear one either. Barely, it's just that black lip barely touched off. That was a one-time thing for 1320 video. There we go. Dude. Appreciate it. All right. So for number one, what what do we got? Yeah, here's the deal. I mean. It's kind of like mullet. We're going to have to use a substitute because my number one is Leroy. But there's a problem that I, you know, I think it's a real safety concern to take you for a ride in Leroy. Plus, Why is that? What's wrong with Leroy? Well, it's got no seat oh. for the passenger, <laughs> you know, so I can't really rip it. It's just, I'd hate for you to die. Right. You know what I mean? But McFlurry's got a passenger seat and I know you said you want to check out the Lanko. So. Yeah, the Lanko is my favorite part about that entire car. Well, let's go rip so, it. So I guess that's a good substitute. McFlurry will do. All right. And I can rip that puppy on the street. So. All right. So because this is like a manual transmission, you have to use the trans brake to stop the Bruno, and that allows you to engage the Lanco. Oh. So it's not a lot of work to drive these things.
What do you think of our substitute number one? I think it, it sufficed. You're gonna have to give me a ride and mull it sometime, at some point. Yeah, yeah, this is tricky for me because I've got race cars. Right. Not street cars. So right. Even though those are my favorite, we can't go like just drive them. Well, yeah, one's broken where the other one doesn't have a chair right now. Yeah, right yeah, faster, so. missing a seat. But next Dragon Drive. Give me like a, a ride and mullet and we'll call it even. 100%. All right, buddy. Sounds good, bro. Thank you so much for letting Thank us you. come out and enjoying the day. Yeah. I didn't, when it, honestly, when we were about to take the Porsche, I was like, this is really, it's really number two? <laughs> and then we went and launched it like 10 times in 10 minutes and then yep. all four off the ground. Not not a bad show in here. Yeah, you know, we what, gotta do something right around here. What's next? What, as far as like other stuff you're gonna do the shop or maybe other cars you have in mind? You know? The next thing I've got on my list, I don't know, fives? Five, fives and five mullet? Five-second car, yeah. Mullet. Or, or make mullet fives, or you want to build We're going to make mullet go fives. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of 1320 Garages. Shout out to Cletus and the boys for showing us around the shop. Uh, if you guys know of a crazy collection, shop, anything like that, we need to check out. Put it in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.